Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are starting episode 6 of Minecraft Story Mode Portal to Mystery. Um, so without further ado, I don't see why we should wait. Let's get in to the 6th episode. And hopefully they'll tell us a little story right before we get in. On Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. I remember that. I'm guessing we just went into a random portal or something. I don't know why we're just in a random place. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh, um. uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. Oh, so we're looking for our world. I get it. Okay, okay, here. <laughs> told you it was a dumb bet. Oh, who asked you? Oh, come on, can't you hear it? A uh, spooky forest? It's the sound of a new adventure. I bet this place is gonna be awesome. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Okay, so maybe they did, but they can handle themselves no problem. They'll find the next portal just like we did, and hopefully we'll all be back together again soon. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah. What is that? Let's find out. Let's see what that is. Some kind of book. It says invitation. And then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Zombies. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! <laughs> Toss it here! <laughs> Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. All right, let's go to the dude's the house. Highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is gonna be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. I'm suspicious too, Lucas. This has trap written all over it. Unfortunately, with all these zombies everywhere, we can't exactly stick around out here. I'm going to go out on a limb and say that's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first.
oh dude. No, I just hit a zombie. I'm not meaning to, sorry. Oh, he just fell on his face. Gotcha. Nice. That you right? Almost sounds like a waterfall. Keep dodging. Ow. Ow. You won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. Ah, stick with me, guys. Now we gotta do more running. The heck? That is spooky. What? What'd you see? You just gasped. Like you'd seen something. No, no. Who he was? Some creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkins. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <sighs> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? Nope, can't go back that way. I have no idea where are we supposed to go. Jesse, come on. There. If we build up, maybe we can break in through that window. And 
Now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place! Hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Oh, dog, you know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasant... Whoa, it's Captain uh, Sparkles. Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude! We're not the host of whatever this is. Sorry, we're just here to hide from the sea of zombies. Yeah, it's pretty bad out there, in case you hadn't noticed. No way. Be polite. No, I'm, I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Tort Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. Though, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles, I've got, like, nine million fans? It really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's Petra, Lucas, and I... Yeah, I know who Captain Sparkles is. God. <laughs> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Ha! Huh? That's a good one. You, you are very funny, I, uh, dog. Uh, wow, you know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some six snackage, and bounce, you know. But uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Wait, how many more people are in this place? Counting us, seven? Mm-hmm. Most of them useless. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, <sighs> Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons. Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? You from, like, out of town or something? Now. Did you hear that? Oh, something's going on. I think it's hey, what's going on? Hey, Jesse. That's not good. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a girl's name. Yeah, I'm kind of glad he died. I don't really care, to be honest. <laughs> Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Ivor. Not classy. Got it, got it. That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof. Sparkles, I know you're freaking out right now, but you've got to pull yourself together. Okay, okay. You're right. Woo. You're right. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... Why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Ah! <laughs> Uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Mm. Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. 
Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. You say you know about these tipped arrows? Anything else you know that you're not telling us? Well, you're, you're not implying what I think you're implying, are you? Because I had nothing to do with this. Nothing. Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. Probably some other YouTuber. Too shot to remember who right now. Probably him. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? There's another YouTuber. I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. I think I know who that is. I don't want to guess, though, but I think I know okay. who that is. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Right, let's um, go ahead and follow her. Okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. I just can't figure it out. Who would have done this? We've kind of been asking ourselves the same question. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them. Oh, there's a diamond minecart. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. All right, so we're we're in a room filled with other YouTubers. And hey, there's one right here. So. Dan TDM, Captain Sparkles, and of course, your boy, Aqua. Let's see what's going to happen. Let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan. Oh, Stampy. W when did Didn't even realize I was Stampy. Color, wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas... And Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Kind of is. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation. I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. What, like you think he deserved it? Well, that sounds pretty harsh, but, uh, I don't know, maybe? I think he deserved it, too. He was a pretty mean guy, There's just gonna be honest. brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. 
Stampy, come over here. Yeah, come on, Stampy, chill out. Lizzie. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it. So is this like a game of Clue where like there's a murder and stuff? What's going on here? One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Luckily, Detective Jesse is on the case. Let's get investigating then. All right, so we're playing a game of Clue here. Hey there, cool. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually One of the clues they offered earlier was Tip Daryl's, and he said someone made a video about Tip Daryl's, so we gotta figure out which yeah, YouTuber made a Tip Daryl's tutorial. Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh huh. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have, what well, can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened. Cassie seems, seems, seems suspicious. Was in his she keeps stuttering. It made me mad, I guess. But at the same time, she has good intentions, so I don't know. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. It's definitely something. Alright, let's talk to, uh, them two. And then we might have to end off the episode in the next ten minutes here. Next five, ten minutes. Hey, guys. Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello! Hey, Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but what? what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. 
I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been... Alright, that's some revelations. That LD oh, Shadow Lady. Got I was broken yeah, into by him. No problem. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So, did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog I'm actually really interested to find out who murdered him. That means a YouTuber did murder him. Still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted we have steel? It. How did you know that? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just use it a while ago to get that Hopefully away. we won't get murdered. Just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I I think this might just prove it. Hopefully we don't get murdered because of that. But I didn't want I did want to show him. Everyone, we've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkles? Oh no, not again. Oh no. Greetings, adventurers. I am the white pumpkin. Spooky. Who is the treasure I desire? I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. There goes Sparkles. <laughs> I actually saw him in the window when we first got here. You mean he's been in here the whole time? I'm so getting out of here. <sighs> so much for a nice dinner party. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I'm starting to like this episode a lot. Yeah, I don't. Why would you do that? Open the door for zombies to get in? You're, you're so stupid. What is wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? Why would you try to do that? Don't be scared. So yeah, I just saved here. your life. And if we're stuck in here, we're all doomed. I thought I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously, Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Well, I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick.
All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. Well, I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Alright guys, we're going to end off the episode right here. I'm actually very, very excited to find out what's going to happen because I'm having a, I'm like, I'm actually interested. This is like the first episode I'm actually really interested in. Because I want to know what this dude is doing. But yeah, we're going to end it off today, guys. Um, but we will pick it back up next episode. So guys, I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys had a lot of fun with me. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to like and comment as it supports my channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless and goodbye.